Welcome to my four minute, no, three minute tour of a very historic city, Kaifeng, in uh, northern China. It's a must to see for those interested in the Song, Northern Song Dynasty and this era. Amazing history, very forgotten city, and very, very passed by in terms of the major tourist attraction. Song Dynasty is one of the, Song Dynasty is one of the major cultural hearts of many things in China. It's said to be the cradle of calligraphy and Henan opera. Being one of the old, ten of the old capitals in China, it has a long influence on the culture and history in China for over two and a half thousand years. Apart from the main tourist attractions, like a few temples and uh, the Iron Pagoda, you got to, got to go and see the Millennium City Park, which is a recreation of the Song Dynasty era. It's a theme park, but it's one that's very special with a twist. Must go there around October, best time of the year. They have a chrysanthemum festival, which has also got 1600 years history. So many things to see through the schedule that's on during the day and the evening at the Millennium City Park. And they recreate things very, very beautifully to see how it was back in the Song Dynasty. Costumes, plays, events are quite amazing. From uh, using cannon boats across the water to horse uh, races and fighting and uh, you name it. It's a must see. Put on your calendar if you're coming to China for a tour. It won't be on many tour guides. Kaifeng is uh, lost and forgotten. He's not on that big list of the normal places that foreigners tend to see. Apart from the Song Dynasty era, this small town of four million now people, it was an ancient capital of eight different dynasties over a 4,000 year history. It's got a lot of culture, a lot of feeling about the town. It's very quiet. Put it on your calendar. Put it on your itinerary. You'll find in the city a few restaurants that cater for some of the local special delicacies like spring chicken and salt and carp noodles and sweet and sour sauce or Chinese rice pudding. And uh, a couple of these hotels or the restaurants they're more than 120 years old. So they still retain a lot of the history and a lot of the original taste and flavor of the city. If you wanna know anything more specific about the place, how to get there, what's the best time of year to go, hit me up in the comments and I'll do my best to head you in the right direction. Enjoy your travels and your tours in China.